Okay, let's look at two different aspects of this tutorial. First, how can we add metadata such as author, description, subject of the document to our MS Word document and the benefits out of adding this metadata. Let's let's look at how first, then we'll reach why. Adding metadata is the navigation part is quite simple. Jump to file, then to this option called info, and right here. A section that says properties these this is the metadata that you are going to write or edit not all fields are editable such as size time dates these are auto generated by the document by the machine itself but you have some of these like title tags etc which you can add title is anything that you want that makes sense it's not mandated that it is picked from the title of the document you can add anything that you want tags We'll talk about adding this tag in the benefits later. You can separate tags with comma comments. Okay, uh, this could be a, an author comment or comment in general instructing the readers what this document is about. So I'm just going to fill some some text here. Template is again system generated. If you are using any specific organization template, it will take the specific name and add it here. Status you can mark here if it is a completed document or if it's a published document you can categorize you can just write a name of any category you feel the document is divided into or your company project then the subject can carry a brief about what the document is about hyperlink base is a bit interesting um ignore the link that i have provided here that's just link to my channel in general hyperlink base is used to for example, let's say there are we have 10 to 20 documents which are related to each other and are stored in a single directory. Just use the directory's link in this hyperlink base. The system identifies that all the related documents are in a single directory. Add a company name. These are these timestamps are system generated. Then you have related people. These again, a lot of people have asked me this question. You can easily edit the author, right click and you can just go to edit property and edit the name of the author unless the document is restricted then you have if you have collaborators co-authors just go ahead add other and enter the name so these are the properties the metadata that you are allowed to add in ms word now let's start looking at the benefits out of this let's look uh, let's look at minor and major benefits let me save this document close it then let's talk about the benefits okay focus on these two files here this is the one that we just worked on and this is just a blank document that i have if you see if you hover over this one that is what is it called temp okay the information that you have here is just the type size and the date it's modified the metadata that we have added helps us this one the style guide it first depicts all the metadata information that we have added right here others title subject this is one of the uh, minor impact minor benefit out of adding metadata but let's look at the bigger ones now if you remember there was a metadata called manager john doe is our manager and let's say you have around 50 to 100 documents written by different authors and managed by different managers. Now, if I just go to search and write John Doe and jump to documents, click on search in file explorer, John Doe, yes. Find any document that has John Doe as any of the metadata, click on that. You can see the document that we just edited comes stop. So if you want to filter, this is nothing but search internal search optimization within your own uh, drive or shared drive. You can filter the document based on metadata, any information. I'm just using the manager's name here as an example. The key, uh, the comments that we used or the keywords, uh, I'm sorry, it was, what was the field? Tags, the tags that we used. This is internal. Same thing applies when you have the document published online. If I have a website where you have uploaded your word documents and 
want them to be searched easily just like your search engine optimization how you do for your content it the same thing applies it is rather than to filter the content it filters the document based on the metadata that we apply there is one more advantage most of you uh your content or technical writers when you are done with your document you convert it to pdf yes uh, you share it you can share it as ms word too but to maintain the accuracy you convert it to non-editable pdf your metadata entered in ms word is auto captured by pdf pdf has um, slightly different metadata options i will definitely be making a video on that too hope this helped this is not a tutorial that uh, everyone needs that everyone uses but if you are dedicated writers involved in the publishing part of your organization this is something that's helpful i found it helpful because i work with around 100 to 200 documents and it helps me filter especially when i have co-authors to understand which document this is nothing but version history part of version history where you can track down you can track the document using the author's name co-authors who, who the document was managed by what were the uh, tags given to it so it is very useful tool for uh, optimizing the search results hope this helped subscribe for more and have a nice day bye bye